Good morning, evening, whatever the heck after midnight time it is, Internet. This is Robert with uh, Big Fat Video Game Nerd himself. I just returned from the uh, 10 p.m. showing of Twilight Breaking Dawn Part Dos, Part 2. Um, and, well, uh, you might as well just turn this review off right now if you don't want to hear spoilers, because this review is going to be chock full of spoilers. And uh, I am a little tired. I do have work in the morning, so I'm going to try to keep this brief, um, but at the same time, you know, give you some good meaty details of what I thought. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my score um, for this movie and then try to kind of justify it. Um, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give it, you know, a C. Um, let's go with like a, like a 71, 72, probably like a C minus. Um, it's not the worst movie I've ever seen. I think it's the best movie in the series, um, far and away. Uh, I really liked a, a lot of the stuff that they did in it. Um, I thought the effects were very, very uh, piss poor, uh, to say the least. So, you know, coming from that standpoint, you know, it's not going to blow anybody away. But it was a nice conclusion to the film series um, and the books, you know, I, this is finally all over until Stephanie Myers decides to write, uh, another story, which I would probably assume would be about Jacob and, uh, Renezme. Um, and what kind of, you know, name is Renezme anyway? Um, as you guys know, this has got Kristen Stewart, Robert Patterson, Taylor Lautner, and all the girls were screaming and going crazy in the theaters, uh, at the very mention of his name. He didn't even have to take off his, uh, shirt. Uh, but when he did and started taking off his pants, the girls got uh, pretty rowdy, and I'm uh, sure you can guess why. Giggity. Um, so, you know, basically, the movie, essentially the movie picks up where, you know, where the last one left off. You know, she just got turned into a vampire. Um, she needs to feed. They go hunting like a gigantic, uh, or they go hunting, and she ends up taking down a, a mountain lion that's about to take out a a deer. Um, she's jumping all over the place. She almost, uh, you know, they show the inner conflict with her having to resist, uh, you know, taking down a rock climber that's all like up on the mountain and he cuts himself as he's like, you know, climbing and stuff and his blood is like really enticing her and you get to see all of her like super, uh, super senses and superpowers um, or super strength. Um, there's this one scene where she's, uh, she arm wrestles, um, What's his name? Elliot, I think that's his name. Is that right? Emmett. Uh, arm wrestles Emmett. And breaks the rock. And, you know, she's like just punching this rock. And, you know, it, you get to see Renesmee grow up like really, really quickly. And the whole plot line is that, you know, the Vittori are going to come after them because um, one of their cousins uh, goes to the Vittori and turns him in and says, hey, they've got this immortal child, um, and that's terrible. And you get to see them, you know, like burn, like burn this, like throw this child into a pit of fire. So they, they have this, uh, I guess the Volteri just don't, don't like vampire children. You know, it's against their code of ethics, you know, because all the other stuff that they have a code of ethics for totally makes sense. Um, and you get the... I guess my chief complaint with this movie coming from like a writer standpoint and a, a movie critic standpoint is that they really throw a lot of characters at you just boom, 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 fast paced character after character and there's very, very little development. Um, I guess they, you know, they mention some of the powers that these characters have and then you know, they, I guess what I was hearing from my fiance is that they did leave out a, a few characters, um, like Maggie, um, I guess she's a human lie detector in the books, but they don't even mention that in the movie, um, but they do mention stuff like Benjamin, who's from the Egyptian, uh, coven, he's able to control the elements, and they, and they do, like, a really cool brief, you know, two-minute description of that, and showing him off, like, able to control wind, and, and control water, and then at the end, he punches the ice, and, you know, controls the earth, and stuff like that, so, um, you know, you get introduced just character after character, um, even at the very, very end, uh, they introduce you to new characters, and there's just very, very little character development, so that's probably my chief, uh, complaint, and that the whole movie is really spent 
um, collecting these witnesses uh, to testify when the Volturi come um, that Renesmee is not a threat and that she's not an immortal child, that she's actually a half-breed, um, and that they should settle their differences and resolve this peacefully. Um, and ultimately, at the end of the day, it was, you know, uh, the, the mind... Uh, the chick that can see the future, Grace, I think is her name, um, that was actually able to save the day. Um, so they threw everyone for a loop. Um, my fiancé was even saying, hey, I want to walk out of this movie right now because I'm so angry because right at the end during the epic battle and everything, you know, there was just some stuff that didn't happen in the books. And um, But they fixed it and it, they made it right and it, it ended well. Um, so everyone was happy and cheered and clapped and uh, super excited. Um, and it's kind of, you know, an end of an age. I mean, this this series has been uh, hot on everyone's lips uh, for a while. And, you know, between the Kristen Stewart scandal and Robert Patterson, I mean, it's pretty much all that a lot of people talk about. Um, so I'm kind of glad that that's over, um, at least, you know, after the fallout of the movie being out and everything and everyone gets to go see it and talk about it and, and stuff. Until Stephanie Meyer, like I said, probably will write another book and it'll be all about Jacob and Red Nesme. Um, I'm, you can, I'm betting on that. Um, so that's pretty much the movie in a nutshell. I mean, of course, from a guy's perspective, I've never read the books. I've seen all the movies. Um, and the, the last scene is clearly like the whole point of going to see this movie. So that epic werewolf vampire fight, um, you know, happens and then it kind of ends. It's just anticlimactic in my personal opinion. They have, a uh, you know, they just, they live happily ever after, and that's great. You know, I completely understand. It's supposed to be a fantasy romance novel, so they have to have that fairy tale uh, happy ending, and everyone just, you know, that's it. So, uh, there were some interesting characters. I really did like the Irish um, group. I really liked the uh, the Dracula 1 and Dracula 2, as uh, Taylor Lautner called them. Um, they were like these 15 year, uh, 1,500 year old vampires that just really had it out for uh, the Volturis. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else to mention right now. That's all I can really think of. Um, I guess you get to, to learn at the end uh, about another half-breed, um, this character from the Takuna tribe um, in Brazil is also um, a half-breed. His name is Noel, Noel, Noel. Um, and I guess his father seduced his mother. And um, they go in a lot more detail about this, you know, this, these characters and stuff in the book. So if you're interested, I would say, you know, check it out. Um, and if you're wondering, you know, if you've watched them all, you're probably going to go see this movie anyway. If you haven't been a fan, you're not going to watch them. So, you know, just you can pass on this one, too. Um, but if you're a fan, you're going to like it. And that's all there really is to it. I enjoyed the movies. Um, they're not I don't even consider them B-rated movies. I think that. You know, Kristen, Kristen Stewart is a skank and a hoe, and, you know, I, I feel bad for Robert Patterson. I wish he was kind of a, more of a man and had some balls um, and was able to, you know, handle this situation in his personal life a little bit differently. Um, you know, so that's, that's about it. You know, I'm, I'm glad that it's over. Um, they were okay movies. Uh, you know, I'm glad that I have a, a beautiful fiance that enjoys this kind of stuff. And I was able to, to go see them and, and talk about it on my show, kind of rip it apart. Um, it's not the worst movie ever. I mean, there are movies out there like Kobo with a shotgun, uh, you know, that are worse or human centipede. So there's that, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not Lord of the Rings, which I hope for God's sake does better than this movie. Um, but I think that's enough of a rant, so I'll leave you with that. This is Big Fat Video Game Nerd signing off. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you like these videos, please click like and share them with your friends, and check out some of my other videos, and keep coming back often. Thanks, and have a great day.